Call that a clean skate, for Christ's sake. Do not swear in front of the kids. I didn't swear, you cunt. Who's that? You two fuck yet? I need to see a wholesome American family. I don't have a wholesome American family. You skated like a graceless bull dyke. I was embarrassed for you. My entire life, I've been told I wouldn't amount to anything. You know what? Maybe I would. Tonahai used to be this high-level ice skater. You know, she went to the Olympics a couple of times during the, the late 80s to early 90s. And she is basically popular for two things you know one was her being able to be the first american to ever do like the three spin trick whatever that was called where she where she uh lift herself into the air by her left leg spin three times and, and landed back on onto the ice but the second thing she's very popular for is this whole thing of did she didn't she topic and that is did she or didn't she bash her fellow Panthers knees to kind of win the competition and that's kind of what this movie is about it's about leading up to that moment I, at the start of the movie I immediately felt sad for Tanya because at the beginning you realize she has been grown up in basically get taught that abuse is love which is not the case because her mother is abusing her mentally and physically uh you know tanya's mother is like i have paid like x amount of money and you do sh you you fucking fight ass you little shit you ungrateful bitch you you go back there and, and prove that these are worth it and you're like okay she's like seven at this point Maybe she'll join the Olympics, who fucking knows? But it's like she's seven, like, and you're like, what is going on? And you know, when the abuse happens, you're like, what's going on? And you, you know, from like the hitting of the hair bust to pushing, uh, you know, young Ta Tanya out of her seat to uh, slaps. I'm like, this is, this is horrible. And then immediately you got Jeff, who seems like a very nice guy, but then the moment he's a nice guy, by the way, he's hitting, he's he's abusing her, you know, calling her calling her a bitch all the time, and and hitting her, and it's and you like every time that she, she leaves, and you're like, good, 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 and when he, every time she goes back, you're like, no, no, stay away, stay away, you, you, there's, a, there's there's a reason why you got this way or for the first place, and then. And you just feel a sense of sadness that you, you, you realize that in her life she has kind of been taught that abuse is love. And that's, once again, not the case. Now, when it comes to just the, the icing wing and stuff and stuff like that, it is shot beautifully. Um, it really has the like a 90s uh, Disney vibe to it. Like, kind of makes it, like, it looks like the 90s. If you watch, like, 90s television, it kind of looks like that. Um, and you know the one shot takes I'm a big fan of one shot takes and I mean yes you can see the green screen and yes you can probably see a little bit of the Marvel Wobby glued on face onto the, the, the stunt double but it's all the stating stuff is as perfect and the soundtrack of this movie is great you get some flick with Mac you get some ABBA you get you get oh every single like song from the seventies and eighties and nineties, a little bit in the nineties. And the acting is great, and it's perfect. You know, like Marvel Robbie. I mean, Marvel Robbie is one of, one of my favorite actors working in Hollywood right now. You know, and she cannot do rock. She's a, she was also in Wolf of Wall Street. She's an awesome Harley Quinn. She was fantastic in Goodbye Crystal Robin, um, and she is fantastic once again in this. Um, there is a scene um, at the end that kind of puts her acting chops a lot. Plans for this movie is mostly around the third act. You know, the third act felt it, it felt weak because here's the thing: like the first two acts, it felt it was like zooming by. It had this 
for a horrific pace, but then the third act dropped after the incident happened, after the the breaking of the leg, and and you know a lot of people say you know this movie is kind of like you don't know what the truth is because you have like two different stories going on, and I'm like no, you can have a sense of like what is the story, you know what is the flinted story that that happens, and. And seeing the investigation happening after you know the, the incident happened, I I like I felt like it could be easy to be a little bit more tighter, a little bit more faster paced, maybe a little bit of that classic thing of like this is what happens to this person, this is what happens to this person, this is what happens to this person. I Tonya is everything that people have been saying about this movie, everything that you want to see in this movie. Uh, no wonder why it's getting a lot uh, off the buzz with uh, uh, with the, with the with the acting categories and and, and all the others. It's just, it's just a fantastic movie. <laughs> When I was a kid, did you ever love me? I made you a champion, knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. He cursed me. America, they want someone to love. But they want someone to hate. I mean, come on. What kind of friggin' person bashes in their friend's knee? Who would do that to a friend?